what is happening everybody hope you ate your vegetables today we're gonna listen to a little bit of ultimate spinach <laughs> we're gonna listen to the first two tracks off of their album uh, behold and see which was released in 1968 this would be the tracks gilded lamp of the cosmos and visions of your reality uh, this is a band I've never heard of until I had seen them pop up in the comments and you gotta admit the name ultimate spinach is kind of enticing it's kind of interesting uh, just looking at the, hi the, not the history of the band, but, you know, who they are, at least a one-sentence Marty. You got Ultimate Spinach was an American psychedelic rock band from Boston, Massachusetts. That's all we're going to read because that's all that we need. Speaking of spinach, all right, do you guys like spinach? When I was a kid, you know, kids have the, uh, you have the, uh, what's the word? You have the stereotype that kids don't like vegetables, right? And a lot of that is true. But I used to watch Popeye when I was a kid and... Listen, if, if you want to advertise vegetables to a kid, just show show the kid that eating your vegetables would give you some sort of supernatural strength and you believe I'll eat my vegetables. <laughs> so, all right, let's go ahead and get into the music. We're going to take the first two tracks. We'll probably just listen to these two straight through. I uh, hope that you enjoy. Well, let's go. This is Gilded. And this does not replace your daily need for vegetables. I'm just saying. Uh, this is Gilded Lamp of the Cosmos and Visions of Your Reality by Ultimate Spinach. Why not just spinach? Why not just name yourself spinach? Yeah. I lied. Well, I'm going to stop the song there and then we'll listen to the next track. All right. I wanted to get my thoughts in on this one before I forgot them listening to this, the following one. Uh, nice little piece of psychedelic music has, of course, that nice, hazy and fuzzy production that makes you feel a certain way. And I was not, I mean, I didn't really look at anything, but I wasn't expecting a woman being to be singing. 
And that is a pleasant surprise. Now, there are two women in the band that I see here, uh, and they're both credited with vocals, so I don't know if it's going to be Barbara Jean Hudson or Carol Lee Britt. But regardless, the singing was just a nice, floaty way of delivering uh, some words to us amongst the music, which I like that little uh, guitar. It reminds me a little bit of the Beatles. I want you like that part in with the guitar. I love that part. And <laughs> just the way it was being played there uh, reminded me of that. And the song basically has three different movements. But my favorite part of that is when the bass gets a little moment to shine. All the music drops out and you get just the drum carrying on that beat. And then the bass uh, getting to do a little bit of its thing. That would be Richard Neese on the bass. I really like that part. Uh, I was hoping... Maybe we'd get like a bigger bass solo in those sections. It's okay though. I like a little isolated bass when we can get it. And just pulling it back a little bit here. Nice guitar solo here. It's that, like I said, that very buzzy tone. That I think sounds really, really good. Has a, a dated sound, sure. But I don't mean dated as in it sounds bad. I mean, you can tell what era it's from. But I think that the era it comes from. <laughs> like, it sounds great in that way. Um, and then, hold on. This is just like, you know what this is like? This is like going to a water park and you've had your your big slides, you've gone on the big rides, you've done the the hydro swirl and the, the waterfall drop. You've done all those big rides and now you just need to jump in the lazy river and just kind of sail along. This is the lazy river, I feel. Uh, let's talk about the lyrics on this one before we move into the following. Your mind's clouds are flying, shattered colors fall from the sky. Flowers explode into laughter, summer swallows July. You get that very hallucinogenic poetry and prose uh, that I would definitely expect from this, and I think it comes across very vibrant. Flaming words ignite you, frozen sounds cascade from your hands. Echoes of life drive you crazy because you can't understand. Behold and see, behold and see. So they're saying, you know, these things are going on, you don't understand them, but they're going to explain them to you. They're going to help you to behold and see. Maybe you just need to smoke that stuff and you'll behold it and you'll see it. <laughs> Conscience of now are your children. Yesterday has gone forevermore. Tomorrow has already spoken and told you what living is for. Tomorrow has already spoken and told you what living is for. You already know the answer. It just needs to be opened up within you. I don't know, something like that. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get into the next song, though. <laughs> Let me pull that up. That'd be Visions of Your Reality. Let's go. Thank you. 
This song had a, excuse me, whoa, 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 jazz thing, you better calm it down. This song had a little bit of a, a blues folk kind of tone going for it, especially in the emotion, how the guitar is laid down in here. I do think it's interesting how, while he's spitting his verses, how the guitar, which, uh, hold on, let me pull it back up here. Guitar is played... Actually, by him, the same person, I believe, Ian Bruce Douglas, who's singing and doing the guitar. I do think it's interesting that as he's doing his verse, like the guitar is also playing a nice lead, uh, really right alongside of him. Not even under him, not on top of him. It's really just alongside with him, which makes sense that he's playing the lead guitar there. Uh, but I really come away with that. Like, this song, I couldn't escape the fact that it just felt like it was stemming from a blues-type movement, but almost leaning into a more folky kind of sound. Now, this is the first time, of course, myself, but that, at least on the album, we've heard Ian Bruce Douglas. And I like his voice. I think he has a very earthy voice. He has a voice that's very relatable. You know, it's not like one of those overly polished voices. It's not like a down and dirty voice. But I do think that he comes across very human and relatable in singing here. And I like that. I think that the song was a little repetitive, but this is also one that you could just sit back, kick back, put it on. And I think that you'll have a good time enjoying it. Uh, just letting the crisp waves kind of wash over you on this one. So let's talk about the lyrics really quick. 
I don't want to be a rusty suit of armor or a tumbled out forgotten castle in your mind. I just want to be a twisted willow so I can leave your shallow thinking far behind. Ooh, he said it. <laughs> and I like how he says he doesn't want to be just a rusty suit of armor in this person's mind. Just sitting there unused, not even kept up with, right? Not even like just a decoration, like a, knight of, a suit of armor might be decorating uh, a castle wall. But he says a rusty one. He doesn't want to be just forgotten and left alone. I can feel the darkness in your shadows and the melting of ice behind your troubled eyes and the discoloration of all the words you're saying as you're hunted without mercy by your lies. And he's, he's basically seeing behind this person and seeing the real them, which looking at the title of the track, Visions of Your Reality, he's understanding their reality. I think that he has a little bit of empathy and sympathy for this person but he doesn't want to necessarily get involved in that because that could bring him down alongside them. And in the end, he says basically in a final resolution where he really like, he gets really wordy. In the end, <laughs> he says, listen to me. You have spoken to me about nothing and you've shown me fantasies in a crystal ball and you've promised me the world for my asking. Don't you know that to me, it means nothing at all? This is where he's really kind of like skipping all the poetic way that he's been describing uh, this person and really just kind of gets down to the business. Because I know you'd leave me for a burnt out matchbox of forgotten roses inside a get well card I had to address by myself. But that's not what I need from another stranger. So I guess I better do things without your help. He knows that it's best for him to move on basically and for him not to be attached to this person because it could hold him back and it could hurt him. And maybe it could hurt the other person too. It's just best that they're apart. Anyways, let me know what you guys thought of these two tracks. I would love to hear your thoughts. Uh, you can let me know those thoughts in the comments below. You can follow me on Twitter, support the channel on Patreon, and uh, don't forget to eat your vegetables today. You still gotta eat your spinach. You still gotta eat your spinach. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. I'll talk to you later. Bye.